techniques and technologies in Bamako, Mali. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to talk about the febrile illness in Mali. I'm talking on behalf of uh, uh, Dr. Odil uh, Boye Uwe Misi Ukem, Director of uh, Centre d'Infection Regional Marie Bamako. <coughs> Malaria is uh, the main cause of uh, fever in Mali. And uh, according to a study based in the hospital, there was 13% was, uh, of fever due to malaria. But due to the seasonal malaria chemo prevention ongoing in the country, now the malaria incidence has decreased. And also we have bacterial causes, uh, mainly during the dry season, and uh, due to this uh, bacterial cause of fever, there is also an overuse of antibiotics uh, for the treatment of the fever in Mali. And uh, there is an al algorithm of fever treatment in children under five, and they treat mainly uh, malaria during the wet season and the respiratory tract infection during the cold dry season, which is now, and meningitis in the dry hot season. And uh, there is also 30 to 40% of a fever of unknown origin, probably due to viral cause. And uh, there is a surveillance of influenza, hepatitis, and dengue. Uh, and uh, based on the serological and molecular uh, evidence, there are some uh, arboviruses circulating in Mali. <coughs> and in the hospital, fever is the first reason of consultation and hospitalization in pediatric emergency services. And uh, several studies uh, done at Gabriel Touré Hospital, which is the main pediatric hospital, indicate that 20 to 50 percent of fever uh, uh, in children are admitted in this pediatric hospital. And a publication by Campbell in 2004 uh, uh, showed that 49 percent of children uh, are admitted for febrile illnesses. And half of these febrile illnesses are due to malaria and only 50% were tested by RDT and confirmed as malaria cases. The case fatality rates for, uh, for most common serious infections, excluding malaria, uh, were 12% uh, due to pneumonia, 37% to sepsis, 20% uh, meningitis, and 12% for enteric uh, fever. Uh, at the community health center level, uh, this is uh, one example of uh, the main community health center in Bamako peri-urban area. Uh, there are uh, fever episodes, uh, total of uh, 65,000 cases of uh, fever yearly. And the main, uh, you see here the distribution according to the uh, age group. And uh, some were referred to hospital. And uh, you have here in the last uh, column the severe cases of fever referred to the hospital. And the etiology is of acute fever, uh, fevers in children in uh, hospital laboratory were malaria, rhinopharyngitis, gastroenteritis, respiratory tract infection, urinary tract infection, meningitis, and some fever of unknown origin. And the, a pilot study done in, at the hospital laboratory uh, in children from 0 to 15 years old showed that uh, malaria 
positive RTT were 8%, blood culture positive 7%, pneumonia 3%, and urinary tract infection 15%. And uh, we have done also a study um, with uh, Fondation Merieu uh, named Pneum Obama study. And here we have at least one microorganism was detected in nasal uh, swab. And uh, overall, 78% uh, case and 54% control were co-infected. Co -infected. And co-detection uh, of nasal swab for uh, streptococcus pneumonia and RSV was more frequent in case than in control. And this table shows uh, the microbial finding of children pneumonia cases in swab in Mali. And for the other causes of fever in Mali, we have uh, 30 to 40 percent fever of uh, unknown origin, and uh, we think that uh, probably hemorrhagic viral fevers, uh, based on archive serum tests, uh, they showed that uh, some of the virus are circulating. Uh, we have Ebola virus, uh, fever, uh, Lassa fever virus, chikungunya. Uh, and also, we have some antivirus cases, dengue and Zika. And in 2017, an outbreak was going ongoing in peri-urban area of Bamako, uh, starting from index case of young children aged to uh, age for one five years old boy. And uh, there is some challenges for diagnosis of febrile illnesses. Uh, we have uh, diagnostic, uh, weak diagnostic capacity with, uh, uh, in hospitals. There are limited uh, uh, laboratory. Uh, the, these laboratories are not well equipped. And at the national level, we have a few national reference laboratory, laboratories. And uh, our uh, center, which is a center d'infectiologie Chalmerie, is well equipped, but not uh, totally part of uh, Ministry of Health. And there is no uh, national management guideline for fever illnesses. Uh, we have some uh, epidemiological surveillance of meningitis, influenza, and yellow fever. And there is uh, a need uh, in the country, uh, countrywide uh, study of febrile illness to, uh, to monitor the bacterial, parasite, virus uh, in human and animals. And also there is a need to identify uh, the strain of some viruses and the antimicrobial resistance at the national uh, level. And also to identify some hotspots for uh, surveillance of uh, uh, fever in Mali. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Kouriba. Any, any questions? Please. Uh, you spoke about uh, positive serology for hemorrhagic fevers, uh, including Ebola. This was community surveys or febrile patients? Uh, it, it's, uh, and, uh, it was all IgG or? Yes, they did an archive uh, from the samples from archive uh, stored in the Institut National de la Recherche en Santé Publique, and they did mostly serological studies that they found mainly IgGs. So it was a, in the community survey? Uh, it's, yes, community, because they, they uh, collect samples from the whole countries. Okay. Uh, any, any other questions from anyone? 